my name is Veronica Agostino and today I'll be teaching my patient about crutches. So the first step is to ensure that the crutches are the right size for her. To do this, we want to make sure that the placement of the tip of the crutch is about 10 centimeters from her toe area. The top of the crutch should be about two to three finger spaces between the crutch and the armpit. And then when she places her hand straight down, the handle of the crutch should be aligned with her wrist area. When she grips onto the handle, there should be a slight bend in her elbow and this will allow for mobility. Now I will be teaching my patient how to walk on the crutches. Her doctor requested that she does not apply any weight to the affected limb. So in order to do this, she will be using the swing through gait method to ensure that she is not weight bearing while walking. So we are going to start by placing her crutches forward about one foot in front of her. She is then going to lift her body up and swing her hips through using her unaffected limb. She is going to support herself using her hands and the grips. That is very important because she does not want to place weight under her armpit as this could lead to nerve damage and it could cause tingling or numbness in the area. There are three health priorities to know when using crutches that will allow you to acquire better knowledge and better safety in your household and your environments. The first one is sitting and standing up with crutches. So my patient will demonstrate sitting down first. She will make sure that she backs up so that the back of her legs are touching the seat of the chair. She will then place her crutches on the affected side and then place the arm of the unaffected side on the armrest of the chair. She will then use the weight of her unaffected limb to sit down. In order to stand up with crutches, my patient will grab her crutches and place them under her affected side. She will then place her arm on the armrest and then place all the weight in her unaffected limb to stand up while she is pushing with her arm. The second step is walking up and coming down the stairs. First, we will demonstrate going down the stairs. So she will already have her crutches placed under her affected side. She will then lower the crutches down to the next step. Carefully, she will lower herself down on her unaffected leg while keeping her injured leg in front of her. To go upstairs non-weight bearing with crutches when there is no handrails available, start at the bottom step. Push down on the hand grips and step up with the unaffected leg. Then bring the crutches up next. Lastly, she will make sure to avoid areas that have carpets so she doesn't trip and fall and areas that are wet so she doesn't slip. 